I'm Alicia Cole, and I'm with the Consumer Union Safe Patient Project, the California Safe Patient Network. We're here at the medical board meetings today. We're working to make sure that the public has any has an idea of what's taking place with the medical board. They meet on a quarterly basis, and they really do it for the public. We as consumers want the best information just to make informed decisions about our health care. Then you will also be involved in any enforcement regulatory activities if those need to be. The board should be aware that the peer review system as it is in place throughout this country does not do a good job protecting patients and should not be relied upon. What consumers don't know about these doctors that run the outpatient surgery center is the Medical Board of California does not require them to be board certified. And I have an issue with that. If you go into surgery, you want to make sure the person that's doing the surgery on you has a specialty license or some type of training in that type of surgery. For example, you wouldn't want a gynecologist doing your plastic surgery, would you? You wouldn't want a, a foot doctor doing brain surgery on you. How would you know? Well, the board should be able to verify that. And they, uh, apparently, there is no law that requires that. So that's why I'm here, I'm trying to make sure that the board passes certain legislation to require doctors to be board certified and to also have hospital privileges. Why? Because if you have an issue in a, in a surgery center and they need to rush you to the hospital, the doctor that's doing the surgery at the outpatient surgery center needs to have hospital privileges to take you there. So those are some of the issues. That's just some. But anyways, I'm, I'm glad to be here representing Californians. watching, we're paying attention to what doctors are doing, and we want to make sure that we're getting safe health care today. In the state of California, consumers are under the impression that if they look at the medical board website, they can see what uh, settlements and judgments and disciplinary action may have been imposed on their physician. However, what most citizens in the state of California aren't aware of is that the medical board does not publish Every settlement, every uh, medical case judgment, or all disciplinary actions against a doctor. In the small print on the web, you will see that until a physician has four incidents in a 10-year period, it doesn't go on the medical board website. So, you could theoretically go to the medical board website to look up your doctor and it says that there are no uh, medical malpractice judgments, no settlements, and no disciplinary action against your doctor. And that might not be true. They may have three in one year. They may have three over a period of nine years, eight years. But unless they get that all-important fourth one in a 10-year period, it does not go on the medical board website. As consumers, we feel that every, every medical malpractice judgment and every medical malpractice settlement and every board disciplinary action should be listed, listed on the medical board's website for your physician so that when you look them up, you're getting accurate information. My name is Michelle Montserrat Ramos and I believe the medical board needs to leave everything about the physician's record on their website. It should not be eliminated within 10 years. It's the best thing that can be done for patients. Safety because patients need to know exactly what their physician has done. They need to know how many judgments they've had on their record. They need to know any disciplinary action and they also need to know if there's any criminal activity involved with the physician's record. What, what functionalities? I want to make sure at the end of the day the system is working. I just would like to know, is it going to be in 20 years? Is it going to be in six months? 
um, but and had had to write up all the requests for changes. But they did. As we so we're focused on making sure that the uh, medical board does more for public relations to alert the consumers and the public about things that they're doing to prevent uh, patient harm. And we want to partner with the medical board and the medical community to protect the citizens of California. Thank you.